Welcome to my series called Movie Reviews, where I talk about movies that I have watched in a particular year. This one is part of the Pixar movies, and I'm just going to say this right now. I give this movie a 10 out of 10, and I had no... I had no idea what I was in store for. I watched Coco, and this one I had heard a lot of praise about. Um... I was a little scared to watch it because one, I'm white as a Durban snow, and I only have a vague idea of anything dealing with uh, Dia de los Muertes. Um, I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. If I'm not, please let me know because I want to be able to pronounce it correctly. Um, I only have a couple of friends who actively celebrate it, um, which for people who aren't in the Hispanic community, it is Day of the Dead. It is very much a spiritual holiday in the area of Halloween where a uh, family will uh, celebrate the life of their family members who have passed on. They also believe that um, the spirits of their family can actually come through the veil of between the living and the dead to be able to visit them. They do food, they do games, they do music, they do basically it's a big party just celebrating the lives of people who have passed on in their families. And this one deals with a character named Miguel, who is the, I think one of the younger of this particular generation. Um, the story actually starts off with, um, I, for the life of me, I cannot remember his name, but it is his great-grandfather. Um, and supposedly he ran off to be a musician. His great-grandmother did not like that at all and basically banned all music from her family and ended up working in the shoe company or their the family shoe business. And she taught her daughter Coco, who is Miguel's grandmother, uh, to work shoes and then the cycle continues all the way down to Miguel. Miguel, on the other hand, loves music. He wants to be a singer. He wants to play music, but it is heavily censored by his family. They do not want him to play music at all. And he honestly believes that this very famous singer is his great-grandfather. And through a weird twist of fate, he ends up appearing in the Land of the Dead. And he ends up getting help from this kind of a drifter. He's not well liked by a lot of people, but he's been trying to get through to the uh, waking world or to the living world for years, but he can't do it because of a whole tradition of you have to have your picture on a set of mantelpieces where other family members are. And if you don't have that, then you can't go through. So he is so desperate to get through to the living world that he makes a deal with Miguel that he will get him to meet up with this guy who is also dead. <laughs> and legitimately... I started crying towards the end because the whole thing is about making sure that his grandmother Coco does not forget her father. And because of how much time has elapsed, her memory is very much fading. And if she forgets her father, then he dies. He basically disappears forever. And he doesn't want that. Miguel doesn't want that. And it was a race against time at the end. And I was crying so hard at the end when he started singing a song that was specifically for Coco. It was written for Coco. And it is Miguel's favorite song that he thought was attributed to his hero. But it wasn't. It was his grandfather's song. And I'm tearing up now just thinking about it because it was just. <sighs> the song was written for her. And it was the only thing that she had from her father. And it was the one thing that made her remember him. And what makes it even sadder is that 
this is a big spoiler for the very, very ending, the last scene. Um, it fast forwards to the following year, on the next day of those, aren't they? And you see Miguel putting up a picture of Coco onto the big family stand where all the other family members have passed away. And it shows that she had died in the interim. And it switches to the land of the dead, where you have the great grandmother who has now forgiven her husband for everything that happened. You have Coco, who's now there with her, and also the grandfather, who is now able to actually be with his daughter and his wife. And, oh, legitimately, I was sobbing. I had to take a break from that, because that one just hit so hard. And it deserves all of the praise that it gets. It, 10 out of 10, deserves everything. It was so good. Oh. oh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. Ah, uh, but yeah, I highly, highly recommend if you have not watched Coco at this point, I highly recommend you watch it because it is that good. And if you don't cry, I, I don't know what to tell you because, oh, this is after months after seeing it and I remember it fully. And for a brain that's not the greatest, it, ooh, it left such an impact. Ooh. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.